What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing a 10 minute makeup soleil transformation and all of the products we're going to be using are drugstore in honor of back to school season because I brought myself back to when I was in college which really wasn't that long ago. I'm 26 years old now um, but when I was in college and even in high school and middle school I never had a lot of time to get ready and I was definitely balling on a budget. I was like, okay, I have $10 in my bank account. What can this get me at Ulta? So I wanted to make sure that all the products that I used today were affordable drugstore products and that it was a quick 10 minute little sleigh where you can pull yourself together, even though it didn't take you a lot of time. This is like major key. And even though I don't go back to school anymore, I still do this sleigh, so this would be appropriate for work, really for anything on a daily basis. If you guys are heading back to school this year, comment down below what you're most excited for about this school year. I would love to hear and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started alrighty so first things first we're gonna go in with primer and a lot of the products you guys are gonna see here are also gonna be multi-use so this is a primer and it's a setting spray so we're gonna use it for both um, and this is the NYX bear with me spray it's just really easy to use this as a primer because it literally takes five seconds to spritz this on your face just a little one two action or more like 10 um, spritzes to the face. I love the way this smells, it smells so nice. And it only takes like a second to soak into the skin and you are ready for a foundation. For my foundation, I'm gonna be going in with one of my absolute favorites. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I have this in shade 205. They do make a matte version of this. So if you're a dry skin girl like me, go for the Pro Glow. If you are an oily skin girl, try the matte one. But both are really, really great. So I'm just gonna go and put some of this on my face. Definitely running out of this. I need a new one. <laughs> but I definitely feel like when I was in college, I was like cutting through like <laughs> makeup things to like make sure that I got every last drop because I was like, honey, I don't have any money to be buying something new, so we're gonna make this work. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. I have a little bit of shade 207 in this, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit extra of this because I really think I have like none left of that other shade. Just pop some of this on there. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. beauty sponge to blend that all out. Super affordable and really, really great. And this foundation does have SPF in it, so if that's something that you like to use on your skin on a daily basis, which is great to protect it from the sun, it's already built into this foundation, so you don't have to worry about adding that additional step of applying SPF. So I definitely tried to find products for this that could just simplify your beauty routine. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite multi-use products are. Like, do you have any products that you use for multiple different things? I would love to hear down below. So when I do these fast kind of tutorials, those are always products that I look for. Now for concealer, we're going to go in with the best of the best from the drugstore. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is the wrong shade. I have shade tan sand here. That is way too dark for me. Let me, let me get the right one. We are back with the correct shade. And I zoomed you guys in a little bit more because I felt like you were too far away. So now you can really see what we're doing. Um, but we're going to go in with shade light beige. And I'm gonna work this on my under eyes. I use a decent amount of concealer. You can obviously use less than this depending on how much you think you need, but I feel like in college my under eyes were always black because I was up all night. So yours may be too. But the joy of this concealer is it covers literally everything. It's super full coverage and amazing. I feel like whenever I do like quick looks, like I don't have a lot of time to put something together, I do really like to have a really flawless canvas. Like I like to spend most of the time on my base and I feel like if your skin looks really flawless and you have a really flawless looking face, like the rest, everything else is just gonna kinda come together. And that's what I always like to focus on. So I definitely spend the most time on perfecting my skin and face and then just kinda quickly go over everything else. So just gonna blend this all on out. One thing I will say about this beauty sponge is this pointy tip here, like that side that you would blend your concealer out with, is definitely much bigger than it is in a beauty blender. So it takes like a second to get used to, um, but it's honestly, it works the same. All right, now that we have that all blended out, we wanna go ahead and set that concealer to make sure that it lasts throughout the day. So my favorite is the CoverGirl True Blend Powder. This is in the shade Banana. So this has a bit of a yellow tint to it, so it's gonna to help to set the under eyes, but definitely really brighten them as well and keep them nice and bright throughout the day. So just gonna quickly pop this on to my under eye area, and I'm just gonna bring it down the bridge of my nose to highlight that as well. All right, now that we are done with that, we're gonna move on to the brows. The first product I'm gonna be going with is Essence Make Me Brow. This stuff is literally $2.99 at Ulta and so good. It comes in like, I think three different shades. I have the soft brown one. 
And I'm going to just run this through my brows. It kind of acts as a brow gel, so it's going to get all your brows going in the same direction, but it does have a tint to it. So it is going to add a slight tint to your brows to just help to further fill them in. It's super quick and easy and takes like two seconds, but definitely does bring your brows together and give them a little bit more structure than they probably have on their own. So you can definitely leave your eyebrows at that, but I do like to go in and add one more step to my brows just because towards the tail of my brows, I have areas where I don't have a lot of brow hair. So I do like to go in just very quickly with a pencil. I would normally go in with more pencil, like if I wasn't in a rush, but when I'm doing just like a quick little easy thing, I'll just go in very lightly on the tail of my brows for like 10 seconds, not even if that and just kind of define those out a little bit more. Because the Essence product or any really brow product like that works really well if you have natural brow hair, but if you're missing brow hair, it really isn't gonna have anything to adhere to. So voila, brows are done. Definitely not the Instagram brow, but good enough for when you're in a rush. Up next, we're gonna head to bronzer, and we're gonna be using this guy for a lot of different things. Um, this is one of my new favorites. This is the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. The shade is La Terra. There are a couple different shades, I think three or four different shades in this. So we're gonna go in with this. So we're first gonna use this on a big fluffy brush to just bronze up the whole face. You wanna try and do your bronzer in a three motion like this. So that's gonna help to contour your face without actually having to go in and like use a contour brush and everything else. It's gonna give you a light and natural contour. Then I am gonna go in and quickly contour out my nose. This just takes me only like five seconds, so that's why I add it in. Just kind of do a little straight line on either side. Helps to make the nose nice and snatched. And then we're gonna go in and contour out our eyes with this. So I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush and just put this right in my crease. Just use back and forth little windshield wiper motions and pop this into our crease just to contour out our eye. And add a little bit more dimension without having to grab for like an eyeshadow palette or anything like that. Then I'm gonna jump in to a blush. This is the Wet n Wild blush in Apricot in the middle. And I'm gonna just pop this on my cheeks. It has a really pretty glow to it. And I'm gonna jump in with a flat top brush and this blush and apply this all over my lid. Just like that. Just to give a nice wash of color. Then for highlight, I'm going to jump into this little trio. This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette. I love these highlights. They're so pretty. I'm going to go in with the Golden Highlight. I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones. Yes, honey. Even though it only took us 10 minutes to do our makeup, we are still glowing to the gods. And I'm going to just highlight out any areas I'd like to highlight. Normally, I do my cheekbones, down my nose, and above my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go ahead with that highlight and pop that in my inner corner to really brighten up that area of the eyes and beneath my brow bone as well. And then we're gonna jump in with mascara. This is Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel and pop on some mascara. Obviously I do have some lash extensions on right now so I will be using less mascara than I normally would but it's really the same thing. You just apply mascara to your upper and lower lashes. Then for our lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. And I'm going to just line out my lips. Although when I'm really in a hurry, this is definitely something that I do skip. But if I have an extra 10 seconds, I'll do it. <laughs> and then for my lipstick, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Baddest Beige. This is their Shine Line. So what I like about this is it's kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. Because it has a really pretty like glowy finish to it. So I don't need to go in with a lip gloss as well. But it's really pretty for every day. And then just going to go back in and spritz the face with that Bear With Me spray from NYX to set everything in place. And that is it you guys. That is my quick little drugstore only 10 minute every day slay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it was helpful to you. If it was, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.